going, guys. Norwich City Central here. Norwich City have just beaten Cardiff City away from home in the Carabao Cup to three goals to one. Goals coming from Dennis Trebeni with a brace. Um, Max Ahrens with the other one. And Manga getting a consolation for Cardiff City. Uh, Norwich obviously scored very early on. They were the better side throughout that first half. Dennis Trebeni scoring an absolute corker. Um, I saw the goal on Twitter. Um, Emmy Wendy have an excellent bit of skill to flick it to Dennis Trebeni. Trebeni using a bit of a step over, turning his defender and rifling a left foot strike into the top corner across the goalkeeper. Smithy's got a hand, but could not put it away. It had too much power on it. Um, and then the second goal, which I did haven't seen yet, which I believe Stiefman crossed the ball in and um, Trebeni got on the end of it. Uh, Max Ahrens, I can't remember how he scored his goal. I didn't forgot to read the tweet properly, but I know he did score. And I mean, he's he's younger than me, and he's off scoring against Premier League sides. And I'm here filming a review about it. That says it all. Uh, the, the the man's excellent, and uh, we conceded from a corner yet again, which is a bit disappointing. But then again, I'm not going to read too much into it. They're a Premier League side. We're a champ mid table Championship side at best, and we've gone and absolutely dominated them at their place. So. Uh, they, but we both use our second choice sides, okay? So there's no there's no excuse for either side. Um, there's no excuse for Cardiff, sorry, to lose today. They they should have beaten us, and I think we absolutely played them off the park today and really impressed the boys. Um, so yeah, um, going into it analytically, it was a, it's a bit difficult, obviously, just listening to to the game. Um, but I'm very impressed, very impressed what I've what I've heard. Um, tactically, we seem a lot more. We we seem to play more of a counter attack in football. I looked at the possession of stats at around um, around seventieth minute or so, and it was fifty fifty. Um, so as I was saying, um, we had seventy seven. Uh, we had in the seventieth minute. I checked the possession of stats. I mean, it was about fifty fifty. So it shows we were playing more of a counter attacking style of play, which is very different to Daniel Farker. I think these cup matches give him a sort of a chance to perform these different types of tactics as clearly the possession style of football does not work in the championship as we've seen over the season and he's trying to progress this side and I think he's uh, changed the tactics in cup games to try and see if it worked and for me I think that's that's, that's a good move from him he's obviously he, I think he knows that the, the possession football isn't really going to work and he's trying to find a different style of play to suit his philosophy which is great but I'm happy with the boys happy with the 3-1 winner Max Arrows what a night for you son you know he's he's younger than me, and I'm sat here doing the match review, and he's scoring against the Premier League side. So, you know, hats off to him. Todd Campwell as well had a brilliant game from what I heard. Unfortunately, he didn't score, but he saved that goal for Sunday. We'll, ho we'll be hoping for that knee slide. Um, but yeah, on Ipswich away, we'll see you there.